An update now to an I-Team investigation into a Georgia teen's permanent ban from her former high school for the rest of her life. It's Shakoya Brown's parents spoke before the Charlton County School Board tonight asking the superintendent to reconsider the ban of their daughter from Charlton County High. But as Tark Miner shows us, they were met with opposition. The former homecoming queen wasn't here tonight, but her parents spoke on her behalf, as well as a local judge who has a personal connection to this case. She did what she was told to do. She was instructed to do. Chicoya Brown's mother, Maria, argues her daughter's case before the Charlton County School Board, questioning whether an assistant principal has the power to ban a student from a high school for life and inquiring if the school board signed off on the punishment. The former homecoming queen's father told school board members he raised his daughter to respect authority. And contrary to what some of you may believe, we hold our daughter to a high standard and she, she, she does not live a consequence free life. She do not. I guarantee you she do not. Some may have, but not my daughter. This battle began in August of 2017 when Brown, a recent graduate of Charlton High, stopped by the school during lunch to visit her sister. She refused to leave campus when told, according to the assistant principal, who in turn had her arrested for trespassing. When her story was publicized on social media, a man named Gerald Moore, who lives in the Tampa area, threatened school board attorney Patrick Brooks and his family online. Moore was arrested and charged with terroristic threats. Brooks' father, a local judge named Kelly Brooks, says Brown endorsed him by liking his threatening Facebook posts. No one should like these posts. Unfortunately, one person likes these posts. You'll see here, the, see the one? See the one to the side? One person likes these posts. One person! And that person is Chicoya Brown. Brown's mother argues that her daughter liking a Facebook post doesn't mean that she agrees with everything he said. She pushed like, and if you go on her page, we can give you access to her page all the way down the page. It's like, 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 like. A lot of times she don't even read anything. She just hit like, 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 like. And that may be the case, you know, with this situation. The school board did not make a decision tonight, but the school superintendent was in the meeting. He's taking this matter into advisement and will make a ruling at a later date. In Folkston, I'm Tarek Miner, Channel 4, The Local Station.